Andy Mogul. We got a whiz bang show today, but what our guest doesn't know is I'm actually not wearing any shoes right now. Live at first and then taped in the Indie Mogul Studios in New York City. It's the Real Good Show with Bobby Miller. Scott Leach, welcome to the Real Good Show. Thank you. You you co-founded Lost Zombies. What is Lost Zombies? Lost Zombies is a community-generated zombie documentary. And on that website, we ask users to submit videos, pictures, writings, and then we plan to sort of combine all that into a mock zombie documentary. So what, what's the status on the feature right now? We're still in the sort of just acquiring content phase, so we're welcoming submission. I have no idea. I'm not wearing shoes right now. Think about the kind of stuff sure. that we need to fill in the gaps. So you have a pretty impressive community right now. What's the size of it? Right now we're just over 12,000 um, registered users. But on a daily basis, we get anywhere between 3,000 to 6,000 visitors. I imagine this is pretty daunting of a project. Um, yes. Was there ever a, a point where you were like, I don't know if this is going to work, Al? Yeah, every, pretty much every morning. Because every <laughs> I do that just in general, just a general yeah. life question. It, it's a handful. I mean, managing a community and trying to make a movie, is a, it's a tremendous amount of work. And, uh, I still not work. Hey Bobby, I'm Liz. And I'm Nikki. And I'm Faye. And we are from Kansas City. My favorite way to kill a zombie is to run its head over with a car. I would like to bash one across the face with a gnome. And I want to get really close to one and stab it in the temple with a fork. So thanks, we love the show. Why Lost Zombies, the title Lost Zombies? The URL was available. And then we had um, motherfuckingzombiesareal.com. Mm -hmm. But I had to explain that to my grandma. What's your favorite zombie movie? Man, this one's hard because every time I say this, someone in our community criticizes me. Um, I'm a real big fan of the remake of Dawn of the Dead, which is total blasphemy. Slower, fast zombies. Oh boy, this is another one that gets I, me. These are hard-hitting questions. I think it's really hard to execute a good movie with a slow zombie. They just look stupid. Re yeah, you need a really good actor to pull that off, or like a lot of drunk extras. Boop. Let's take some live viewer questions. Right in your lap here, Scott. Zombie Gore Princess writes, what's one of the best submissions you've gotten so far? Uh, early on, it would be the, the helicopter pilot uh, submission. Boom! Diane, I've, I've now been told this is now a restricted airspace, we, so we will have to uh, cut our, our coverage short. We, God. They're firing into the crowd. It, it appears they're firing into the crowd. Jacob Sen X 2 writes, have you ever gotten hurt making a movie? There is one interesting story, actually. We didn't have a squib, so we used a condom filled with blood, and I had it strapped to my chest, and then when I was in the car, I pierced it, and when I came out, you could see blood all over my shirt. Um, I had a spare condom in my pocket, and my That's wife found do. the bloody condom and the spare condom in my pocket, and I had to do a lot of explaining as to why there was a bloody condom in the garage and another one in my pocket. You have 10 seconds to promote yourself, go! I want to tell everyone to come check out lostzombies.com uh, Submit your videos, pictures, and things like that and they might be used in our documentary. Now listen, I have to tell you something. Okay. I've been holding this back the whole time here. I actually have not been wearing any shoes this whole time. That's a little gotcha. That's a real good show. Gotcha! Are you really shocked by that? Um, by the shoelessness? Yeah. I'm not completely shocked. Um, it's, uh, not, it's not particularly pleasant or unpleasant, I guess. It's a nice surprise, I would say. <laughs> I'm not uh, wearing pants, so... Okay. Hey guys, so I got some pretty big news. My short film Tub got into Sundance this year and I want to bring you guys along for the ride. 
Tune in next week for Bobby Goes to Sundance Part 1. I'm going to talk to filmmakers who've already been there. I'm going to answer any questions you guys have. Also, word on the street is Spike Jones has a short film in this year's festival. And my goal is to try and get him to come to my screening and see Tub. So here's my question of the week for you guys. You can leave a video response below. What would you ask Spike Jones, and how would you get him to see your screening? Lastly, join our Facebook fan page right here. I will see you next week. Lots of exciting stuff.